As Built Modeler Sin 2 Draw in BricsCAD. After this tutorial, you will be able to connect As Built Modeler with BricsCAD. Draw in BricsCAD using Scan Data and Sin 2 macros. To draw in BricsCAD, make sure that the CAD application is open before you use the commands. It's recommended to have the As Built Modeler and BricsCAD side by side as shown here. We already have the project opened with a quick view of a scanned opened. To deliver commands and coordinates to BricsCAD, click the Apps Manager and select the Send To app. There are several pre-installed macros available to help you get started. They are divided into three categories, Send to CAD, Send to Table, and Send to Text Editor. On the right side, there are several commands, for instance, to create, import, or export macros, or to connect as built modeler to other applications. Drag and drop the satellite icon to the window with the app to which you want your data sent. The green icon indicates a successful connection. The tooltip shows that as built modeler is linked with BricsCAD. Before sending any data to BricsCAD, open the configuration settings. Ensure that the unit precision and decimal separator match your project units. For working with BricsCAD, switch the send mode to AutoCAD BricsCAD. The weight parameters are given in milliseconds. Try various settings to find the optimum setting for your machine and workflow. The recommended settings to start with BricsCAD are shown here. Click OK. Now we will draw the room outline. Activate the Draw Line in CAD macro, then click two points on each wall in the scan view. Press and hold Shift left mouse button to navigate the scan. Keep clicking points on the scan. To close the line run and end the macro, right click in the scan view. Click Zoom the CAD view to Extends to obtain a better view of the outline of the room. To create sharp corners, use BricsCAD's Fillet command. Now let's place lamps on the ceiling. Try Insert to run the command from BricsCAD and press Enter. Select a block definition lamp and click OK. BricsCAD is waiting for the insertion point. Click the Send 3D Points UCS to CAD macro. Zoom in and pick the insertion point in the scan view. To pick another point, start the Insert command again. Now we have both lamp blocks placed in the correct position. To avoid switching back and forth between the applications, you can create your own new macros. Creating and customizing Send2 macros is explained in another tutorial. Not only can we create a floor plan using the Send2 principle, but we can also do elevations. Delete the floor plan and select Create UCS using three points. The first point will be the origin of the user coordinate system, UCS. The second point points to the positive x-axis. The third point points to the positive y-axis. Then click Switch to Plan View of Current UCS. Notice the User Coordinate System, UCS, is rotated here. Now you can draw again using the Draw Line in CAD command. Click two points on each wall, ceiling, and floor. To close the line run, right-click in the Scan View. Click Zoom the CAD view to Extents to obtain a better view of the outline of the room. Now switch the layer to Windows, and by using the Rectangle command you can add the window opening. Start the Rectangle command in BricsCAD and use the Send 3D Points UCS to CAD command to start picking diagonal points. Now our elevation has been created. 